In the financial year 2020-2021, 154,155 new businesses were registered in Kenya. According to the Kenya National Bureau of Statistics, more than 20% of these businesses will fail within their first year of operation, 30% by the end of the second year, and by the fifth year, more than half would have shut down. This is troubling considering the high unemployment rates in the country and the negative impacts these failures have on the economy. What are the reasons for these failures and how can they be remedied? A majority of people fail to properly study the markets they want to get into to understand if the product they want to offer is needed, that is, if there is a demand for it, the challenges they will face and what would be the proper location for their businesses. All these factors play a critical role in determining if the business will do well or not. Having this information for a business person is essential as it ensures that the business person makes decisions that are data-driven, hence increased chances of success. Failure to carry out research may also result in the duplication of ideas since many people tend to copy businesses they deem to be successful without properly understanding what they entail. Duplication also may cause the problem of oversaturation within a particular niche, therefore leading to the collapse of some businesses. One may also not understand what the customers want, further hurting the business. It is therefore wise to properly study the dynamics of the market one wants to enter to ensure that they are properly equipped to evolve the business into what the market needs and to create a niche for itself. For a startup to succeed, it is of importance that the business owner assembles as many resources as possible. Many people venture into businesses with the knowledge or hope that the business will immediately be successful. This is however not the case for the majority as most businesses take a few months or longer before they become profitable. All this while the founder has to continually fund the business until such a point that it's self-sufficient. This is however not possible as most business owners rush into businesses without taking these factors into account. Most just source enough funds to start the business without paying attention to the overhead and operational costs. It is advisable for a business owner to be able to gather enough funds to cater for the business expenses such as rent, utilities, and salaries for at least a few months before the business gets on its feet. Another problem that plagues many startup businesses is the inability of some business owners to distinguish personal funds from the business funds. They usually take out business funds for personal use from sales without evaluating if the business has really made a profit or without accounting for operational costs. This negatively affects the business as it starves for cash, eventually leading to the collapse due to inability to restock or pay for operations. The business owner also has to regularly reinvest profits into the business to ensure its long-term survival. It is therefore advisable for a business owner to keep proper records taking into account all aspects of the businesses. This will help them to know when it is okay to take money from the business and how much. It is important to keep in mind that there are other reasons why a business may fail, but I chose to focus on these three areas because I feel they are the main ones. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe to this channel for more educational content. Bye.